In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the Magnetic Lasso tool. To do this, we're going to need to open the file called magneticlasso.jpg. This file is found within Chapter 9 within your Project Files folder. The Magnetic Lasso is found just here within the Tool Panel. If you click and hold, you'll reveal the grouping of tools within this group, and you can select the Magnetic Lasso tool. What this tool allows us to do is to quickly trace out an outline of a subject, and then with the end result being a selection. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to come over to this cross and you'll notice I have a little brush. If I click once just down the bottom of this cross and then quickly just drag around the edges just like so, you'll notice I'm creating a little path. When I get to a corner, I'm just going to change direction and I'm going to let Photoshop Elements determine where the edge of this object is currently residing, just like this. Now I'll change directions and I'll quickly go up again. And I'm just going very carefully and making sure that I'm doing very still movements as I go around this edge, just like this. Now I'm almost done, and what you'll notice is that Photoshop Elements is creating lots of different paths around this object. Now when I get to an endpoint like this, all I need to do is come straight across to the end, and when I hover over the starting point, you'll see the little cursor changes, and I get a little circle there indicating that if I click once, I'm going to create my selection, just like that. So now that I've got my selection, what that allows me to do is go up to the Enhance menu and I can enhance this any way I like. I might apply Auto Levels to that and you can see I've just lightened that up slightly. So to remove this selection, all I need to do is hold down Control and D. Now I better show you as well that we have some options up here within the Tool Options bar. This option here allows us to create a new selection, which is what I currently did. However, if I had an existing selection and I wanted to use the magnetic lasso to draw a new selection, I'd need to select this option here, which is Add to Selection. This next one is Subtract from Selection, and this one here allows us to intersect two joining selections. I'm going to reset that now to Add to Selection because that's my preference when I'm working away. We can also feather any edge within a selection. Anti-aliasing here allows us to create a nice smooth edge, which is always recommended. I would keep that on. We can control the width area and the edge contrast that we're picking up when we are creating our edge. If you're finding that maybe your selection edge is a bit too loose and you're not having much luck, you might want to play around with these settings. We can also change the frequency, and that's basically controlling how many points are added along your path when you're drawing out your selection. So take advantage of these options. They really allow you to specify how well you can get in and select a particular object within a photo.